Yeah, I do. All right, here. 1520 for Mr. Mayo until that brain changes. And in order to validate any bottom, selling short, like I told everyone, selling short. This one, they brought it way down here. The high of the contract was $18, for crying out loud. So I'm a wholesale buyer in the options market because that's a different market than this market. But it doesn't matter. When this one is done going down, then I'm going to get my wholesale entry. However, I need some huge spikes off of here. And I need that current trend ratio. It was 0 0.16 and I'm at 0 0.12. And I'm stabilizing at the teeny action line. If I'm going to break back to the upside like they always do, it's going to put a bottom in. They do it every day, MMTs, and we trade them every day. And as long as that is strong boning, I have kept my limit order out there at 1520 below the market because I know where that market could be made at 1520. My entry is very limited on my risk. I didn't buy it at $18 and write it down like the public loves to do. No, I'm a wholesale buyer, so I get to sell it back to the public. Right, Mr. Mayo? Quiet. Da, da, da. Da, da, da. We will break it da, higher. Da, 42. Da. Here we are, folks. We're trading off that bottom with MMT. Yeah. That was a great short. New people in the trial. You witnessed it. Don't say you don't, have, no, don't know how to make a market because a market was made to there. And now another Moving on my stop on Google. And Mr. Mayo is in here at $15.80 on six contracts. Now, in order for these uh, call contracts, the high was eighteen dollars, and Mr. Mayo's entry is fifteen eighty, and the low was fifteen forty five. So, as the equity started working, he felt it was his due diligence to get in, but also keep a stop because he's making a market. So, the thing about the call contracts now is that the ratio has to stay elevated. And that half bar, you got to close. You can't close below it, and that's three twenty, three forty two forty. It's right here in front of your wonderful eyes. FCX and as long as I don't close Angela. below it, then I stay elevated here. Then that momentum and that ratio right here is only a point two, which means that that's got stability there, and you don't panic out of it. And basically, by knowing that point zero one is giving you that half bar action price support and that staying elevated and running north to 45 you're breaking up to the teeny lines just as they broke down and so what you're looking for is the same price action on the way up as you had on the way down and as it sets itself up it builds that royal mounty momentum is what it does because that means you're doing your job right and you're understanding how to make a market selling short that failure bar then buying the success bar and every time coming off of the bottom you got to have in your MMT platform your elevation in the ratio if it stays this way that's wonderful and if it goes to O2 you get more so you got a little comfort in here with your call contracts. But you already made a market. You got the put contracts. Now you got the call contracts. And you're able to make a spread on both sides using the 330 put and then buying the 330 call and say my name is Yogi Bear. <laughs> because I made a wholesale market here and I also made a wholesale market on the 330 put short and I've got profits made on both sides I couldn't lose on this side anyway because I'd already made those debits down to there and so now I got to move and I'm above the ultimate point three five and if I go north of 45 mr. Mayo these contracts will get more value but you got to maintain that ratio that ratio is 0 0.04. Right. Remember when we shorted so, it, Mr. Mayo, it was positive 0 0.41, and we shorted it all the way down here. It's negative 0 0.18. So this is the first bounce. That's called the SMF buy action 369 
right to the teeny line. Let's see what the previous half bar is. It's 342.56. That's this last nine bar that was shallow in price action compared to the 3.6, Mr. Mayo. Actually, there was All right, one other one. Here, <laughs> here we go, folks. Uh, we cashed out of these up here at the 1650 area, and that's where we needed to in, uh, exit the spread. So we were trading the 330 call, and we were also trading the 330 put. An entry. We just got an entry at $15.80 on five contracts. Here's the print. We sold up at the highs of $16.50. Made money twice on the 330 put side and focusing on trading the other side of that that put side debit and trying to get as much out of the call side debit because the call debit is much weaker than the put side debit. The 330 put 